हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो आई विल टॉक अबाउट आई जी एम पी दैट इज इंटरनेट गेट वे मैनेजमेंट प्रोटोकॉल आई हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन यू दैट वेन एवर होस्ट वॉन्ट्स टू ज्वाइन अ मल्टीकास्ट ग्रुप इट सेंड्स मैसेजेस ऑन द ग्रुप एड्रेस विच अल्टीमेटली गो टू द मल्टीकास्ट इनेबल्ड राउटर ओके सो आई जी एम पी वर्क इन दैट कम्युनिकेशन that is why i mentioned here it is a communication protocol used by host and adjacent routers the gateway on the ipv4 network to establish multicast group membership okay so the purpose is that uh, host wants to receive a traffic that is why these messages are used so there are three versions of igmp version 1 2 and 3 Two is the by default. Uh, there are some old applications where version one is still used. So if you want to test IGMP version one, then you have to uh, mention it with a command. I will take you to GNS three in the next chapter, next lab, and then we'll show you how it works. But right now I'll just give you theory information on it. So version two is by default. So version one is very basic and simple. It only uses two type of messages one is membership query and then report message see router will always send query messages and host will use report messages to communicate with the router so you can say that queries will be sent by router and reports will be sent by the host which want to receive the traffic okay so whenever a host wants to join a particular group it sends a membership report message it goes to it goes to the group address but router receives it because the router is a part of that multicast group you have to enable multicast on router as well okay the purpose is that host wants to receive multicast traffic so when a router receives this message it then communicates with the source server uh, which is the originator of the traffic and then it forwards the traffic to the host via the interface on which it had received membership report message okay so if host sent uh, let me take you to diagram so uh, this is a router if host one wants to receive multicast traffic it will send membership report it goes to this router okay then router goes to video server and it gets the uh, gets the traffic and it sends it to the same interface on this interface because on this interface it received the report and then it sends okay that's what i was telling you so here i was once uh, host starts receiving the traffic multicast traffic then the router that is this one router will send a uh, periodic query messages to the host so these messages will be sent so this is known as membership query messages and these will be sent after every 60 second okay so what is there in the message in the query message it wants to know uh, does the host still want to receive the traffic if host says yes so how how it will say yes in the form of membership report message that yes i i still want to receive the traffic so router then receives that uh, report message then it resets that timer okay so this is how the communication happens in the igmp version 1 but the issue here is that when host doesn't want to receive the traffic it doesn't inform that is the problem let's say that uh, uh host sent membership report that i want to receive traffic router to send traffic to host one and then router sent first membership query periodic message that do you still want to receive it it say yes host one i want i want to receive it and after suddenly after 5 second host one doesn't want to receive any further multicast traffic okay but the problem here is that it doesn't inform the router that is the issue in version 1 so router will keep on sending traffic for the complete 60 seconds until it sends next periodic message then 
when it doesn't uh, receive the response then it stops the then it stops the traffic for host okay this is the issue here so in version 2 this this issue will be resolved ultimately we want host to send a leave message that i am done with the traffic please don't send me any more traffic because it may create issue the router will keep on sending traffic it will utilize the resources that is the reason so here i mentioned router will use membership query periodically to all hosts using the destination group list so when router will send query messages it will go on this address because uh, every host by default is a part of multicast group 224001 so this is known as all host group so any message which goes to this host will receive it remember every host is by default part of multicast group this whereas all multicast routers are by default part of this group so if any message is sent to this address then it means it is uh, it is going to router because routers are by default part of this i'm just telling you for information your information just remember i'll take you to gns3 lab and we'll show you these messages okay so the same thing which I've told you, host that received the query message from router can reply with the report message that they are still interested. The only issue comes when they are not interested. Then they don't tell. After receiving the report message from host, router resets the expiry timer. I told you, if host don't respond to query messages uh, sent by the router, then a, a time will reset, a timer will complete and traffic will stop version one drawback is that host don't report to the router with a leave message when they are not interested router continues to forward traffic till the time expires that's a problem in version one now i'll talk uh, i'll take you to version two so it is by default version uh, it has three main uh, new things first thing is that leave message host will send a leave message that uh, I I don't uh, I am not no longer interested in receiving the traffic. And this resolves the issue of version one which we encountered. Second is that uh, let's say okay let me take it to let's say host one doesn't want to receive traffic anymore. It sends a leave message. Then what happens that next time router will send query on the specific multicast group that is let's say 239.1.1.1 instead of sending it to 224.001 here see in this version 1 version 1 router will send query to 224.001 which will be heard by every every member which is by default part of this group okay so in this case if host 1 says i no longer want to save traffic then the query will not go to 224.001 it goes to specific group address which they are part of like 239.1.1.1 okay the same group like video server i will show that to you in gns3 that is why i mentioned here it allows membership queries to be sent to either all host group or directly to specific multicast group see for the first time when all hosts are receiving the traffic then it goes to this and if anyone sends a leave message then it uses specific multicast group for sending query so that it can know if there is any other host which still want to receive traffic okay third one is query election process what happens that here is single router what if there are two routers in the same LAN segment then both will send query then that will be an issue so what it does it elects a designated query router querier so it it makes single router as single point of contact so if there are there are multiple routers then out of those multiple routers one will be chosen as query router the lowest ip address in uh, among three routers or whatever routers means uh, if there are multiple routers the lowest ip address of the segment that that router which has that ip lowest ip will become responsible so it will be his responsibility let's say its ip is 10 1 1 1 and there is one more router which says IP 10.1.1.2 and then 10.1.1.3. So the lowest one will become DQR. So this is how it elect, elected. 
it is mentioned query election process in case of multiple routers it elects the dqr so the query is sent and received a single router router with the lowest ip in the segment becomes active query now let's talk about version 3 so version 3 uh, is the advanced one it has additional feature of ssm source specific multicast so here we can mention from which ip address we want to receive traffic like these are three host let's say host one wants to receive video traffic from chairman okay it co it communicates with router saying i want to join this group and okay and i want to receive traffic a router to then further communicates on that multicast group address and this is a part of it it responds but what happens let's uh, let's assume there is one attacker which has joined your network it has joined the same group so what if that attacker start sending you uh, the stream okay because here we have not specified the actual ip address of this uh, video server let's say its ip address is 10 1 1 okay let's make it 100.1.1.1 here we are saying uh, send us a multicast traffic from 239.1.1.1 which is the multicast group so it is also part of that multicast it sends but if we mention that we want to receive multicast traffic from 100.1.1.1 it means we are specifying the source source is the one which is generating the multicast traffic so it it, it becomes source specific multicast ssm so here we will define host will particularly say i want to receive traffic from this host this server source server it is ssm it is version 3 it is enhanced version provides uh, support for ssm that is we can specify from which source server we, uh, we want to receive traffic it is helpful in cases where an attacker can use any uh, any source any host as a source with the same multicast group to supply the traffic in other words we will receive multicast traffic from authentic source using igmp version 3 if we mention the source specific multicast ip okay that's it friend it was just an introduction about uh, igmp i hope it's been informative to you in the next lab i'll take you to gns3 and we'll show you how how the igmp communication happens for version 1 version 2 version 3 i will do debug and we'll show you it is important that we understand these basic things then it will be easy for us to further move ahead so do give me appropriate rating and feedback thank you so much